Hello everybody, Cyan Link here with another knife video. Once again, I'm going to be doing two because with these, except for the blade, they're the exact same knife. We have here the SOG Visionary 1 and the SOG Mini X-Ray Vision. Okay, specs. Both of these are constructed out of VG10 steel. The uh, Visionary obviously has a black oxide coating, while as the X-Ray has a uh, bead blasted finish on it. Um, three inches in length for both of them. Of course, obviously, you know, Tanto saw for one and a modified drop point for the other. Handles are made out of FRN. Reversible pocket clip and the patented arc lock system owned by SOG. Uh, start with the blades. I am a fan of Tanto, but with this one, I've had some rust problems, and uh, I think that's because of the finish. A bead blast finish is great for preventing, you know, glare or shine. As you can see, as I move it for the light, it's not shining as much as some of my other knives, uh, so that's good. The downside is, when you bead blast some, it leaves all kinds of little pits, and that's what disseminates the light. It also leaves areas for, <coughs> excuse me, rust causing bacteria and other kinds of stuff to get stuck in there really hard to get out and that's probably why I've had uh, rust problems with it. Both are plenty sharp, uh, obviously no problems with this because it's black oxide coated. Um, and that's that's really it. Ambidextrous thumb studs, which you know, is kind of like saying a car has a steering wheel nowadays. But decently nice, uh, I do prefer this one. Um, I, I love this modified drop point. You know, you have a really nice part with this outward curve that you can like focus a cut on and this inward curve this concave curve in the back really nice for precision cutting um, as that that natural curve is going to help focus uh, the cutting into that into that inward area and you're going to have very little slippage when making your cut so that's actually very nice um, I love this uh, arc lock uh, it's much like the axis lock by Benchmade so in theory, you can do the flick thing, although it doesn't work as well on these because the, the blades are just not heavy enough to, to get the momentum. But I can close them, open them very quickly, very little resistance. I uh, can close them without ever putting my finger in the way, in the path of the blade, like I would have to do with liner lock or frame lock or any other kind of stuff like that. So I do really like this locking system. Moving on to the handles, nothing too special. I mean, the fiberglass reinforced nylon is always nice. Uh, not too much coating on the side. I do like this little this little thumb groove, or not thumb groove, sorry, uh, forefinger groove right here. You can put you can put that in. Um, jimping, they could do a better job with the jimping. Uh, the, my test for jimping is if I put my thumb on it normally and try to move it back and forth. As you can see, my thumb does slide back and forth on the knife, so they need more jimping and, and the other side is if you just press down with your thumb and you feel pain you know that's not a good thing either so I don't feel any pain but my, my thumb can move so I think they could put additional jimping along the top spine right about here uh, I do like the open back design makes it much easier to clean it does close at the bottom but you can still reasonably get in there with a q-tip without too much trouble uh, the pocket clip is reversible, and what you do is you unscrew this, and you just this just pulls out, and you switch it over to the other side. And uh, I like the fact that they use a Phillips head because, um, you know, not everyone has hex key screws, you know, or hex key wrenches, you know. Uh, however, everyone is pretty much guaranteed to have a Phillips head screwdriver, so I do like the fact that they, you know, thought of that and put that in there. And last thing, gonna let's talk about pocket carry. All right, let me get uh, a pair of jeans, as I usually do. The way. All right, so put this in real quick. So very, can't see, very low pocket carry. As you can see, you can you can't see any part of the knife. You just see the clip. So that's nice. And as far as like legality on that, I mean, this knife is so short. It's three inches long. That I'm not really going to be too concerned about. You know that being illegal in your state. And with that, you know, I think that's about it for these. Went through the whole, the whole knife. Um, one thing I would like to say is that saw does tend to be too expensive. Both of these are 160 bucks on their website. And um, while I do recommend both, I would.
try shopping around for a cheaper price and not buy it straight from there, straight from SOG. Uh, I would recommend the Visionary a little bit more because of the black coating pre present, bleh, sorry, preventing rust, but they're both pretty equal. Just keep in mind if you want this one, you're going to have some rust problems. And last thing, almost forgot, they do have larger versions, I believe uh, 3.5 inches, the regular x-ray vision, which this one is the mini again, and the Visionary 2 is a larger version of the Visionary 1 if you do want a slightly larger knife. That should do it. I'm Cyan Link. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day.